guys welcome to my channel this is Roshan today we are going to learn how to make a floating navigation bar floating navigation bar is simply which floats and moves along the web page and provides smoother navigation this method is very convenient to users as they can navigate easily without the need to get to the top of the web page so today we will be implementing this particular design and let's not waste any more time and get started ok guys we will be working with brackets today I'll put the links to the software down below and you can check the video so we'll be using live preview so that I can show you the development in our web page in live so for that I need a folder on my desktop let's quickly create a folder and uh, let's name it as test yeah now let's import the folder in our brackets we we'll go to file open folder and select the folder okay let's create two files one will be index.html so file new index.html and we'll save that we'll create another file css file to style our web page so same again style.css and hit save so let's move on to our index.html and start coding so i'll import a basic html skeleton and we'll give the title as floating nav and we'll link our style sheet to our web page below the title tag let's give a link a rel is equal to style sheet and we'll give href as style.css close the tag And let's go to our body tag here first we need to have a div it's up to you you can give an ID or a class I'll give an ID let's name it as navbar close the tag inside that I'll give another div and I'll give it an ID of logo that will serve as for the logo and uh, alongside one more div and I'll give that an ID of now so here is where all the navigation things will come so inside that I'll give a ul tag an order list and inside that we'll give a list tag li open li tag inside that we'll give a, a tag for the link and it will be a dead link uh, as it's for demonstration purposes we'll put an hashtag and uh, we'll name it as home so close all the tags and uh, quickly I'll copy this and paste it around 4 more times so you can watch the previews uh, around me as I have snapped it to the left of my uh, desktop you can watch the developments in live so it's a specialty of brackets so let's quickly rename all the links ok let's give 2 more divs that's to just give the background so that I can show you the floating navigation demonstration so let's put two more divs so that's it with the HTML page now let's move on to our CSS page and let's stylize our web page so first we'll work with the body the total body I'll set the margin to 0 pixels and uh, padding to 0 pixels and let's go to the navbar as we are using uh, ID will be using hashtag so hash navbar open bracket the top as 0 pixels left 0 pixels and we'll give a width of 100% and we'll give a height of 80 pixels and z index triple nine yeah triple nine should do then we'll give a background color I'll write I'm writing a hex code so it will be hash 313131 you can always pick a color from there you can also preview it directly so right click quick edit and let's finally give a position as fixed so position fixed hash nav bar hash nav and we'll give a float to right and we'll give a padding top 15 pixels 
then let's target our li tags so first let's we don't want that bullet points there so we'll give list style as none so that will remove the bullet points and we'll give a display as inline block which will display the list as horizontal and we'll give a padding right as 40 pixels which will give a nice look to the navigation and let's target our a tag we'll write li a in open bracket first we'll give the text decoration as none to remove the the default color and uh, that underline and uh, we'll give a color nice white color let's say hash fa 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 so you can always pick a better color via the color picker yeah that's nice nice white so now let's set target the logo div so we'll give a float to left and uh, that's it i think yeah that's it so let's check it in full screen it looks good it's nice let's give a logo get the logo so for that i'll give an image tag img and src source as so we don't have the image right now i just remembered let's put our images in the our original folder i have my images here logo and background now go back to our brackets and uh, hit control space for suggestion and we have our logo.png okay close the tag there you go we have the logo there and now let's put our background in the div that i made extra so same here img and source as bg.jpg we'll copy the same here and paste it down oh, i forgot one thing let's give an hover to the links let's put lia colon hover and we'll give a different color let's say hash eb 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 it's a nice color let's check yeah it's not that revealing so we'll change the color let's get a nice color yeah that looks good and uh, i do have a problem here what's the issue let's check yeah it's because i put the the two divs inside the navbar so it should be outside that so we'll just cut it and paste outside it and that should do as you can see we have a working functional floating navigation bar that's it for this video guys i'll put the project files down in the description if you found this video helpful please hit the like button comment if you have any queries ask any question and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys next time bye bye <laughs>